to quickly mention that one of my sponsors, Into the AM, is currently doing a Call of Duty BO4 bundle giveaway. So, all you have to do is go to the link in the description and enter. There are currently 26 days left. The winner will be announced October 20th, 2018 at midnight. And all you have to do, basically, is fill your information and then... The more entries that you complete, the more times you are entered. I currently have 450 entries because they are all worth a different amount. So you can, you know, follow Into the AM, retweet Into the AM, tweet on Twitter, etc. And if you ever want to buy anything for Into the AM, use code LOVELY on the website and you will get a 10% off discount. And it'll help me and it'll help you at the same time. So let's get right into the video. Hey lovelies, it's Legit Lovely. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm doing a Sims 4 mod review, and the mod that I'm going to be reviewing are the Sims 4 fan art maps. Um, so basically, what they are is they are map replacements for the Sims 4. So each world that has its own unique map, uh, the map has been redesigned and graphically like recreated so that it has a more clean yet creative look to it i guess you could say so i'm going to quickly show you guys on the site the maps and then i'm going to show you them in game but i hope you guys enjoy the video let's get right into it so if you follow the link in the description you'll be brought to this page which is cc creators page um i think it's no noir sims so to bring you this page it's just titled sims 4 fan art maps now all you have to do from here is just click on the link or open it in a new tab and it is a sims file share file they automatically download for me because i have already downloaded them but if it is the first time you download them it'll bring you right to the sims file share page and you do have to cl click download yourself but let's quickly zoom in on some of these maps and get a look for them see what they look like before we go in game so this is willow creek's map let me see if i can zoom in a little more this is willow creek oasis springs new crest Granite Falls, Magnolia, and Windenburg. Now, all of the maps, like I said, aren't out yet for all of the different worlds. I think Brindleton Bay is missing. I think another one is missing. Oh, Salvadorada. But other than that, all the maps are available. So, all you have to do is download them, put them in your mods folder. They're not script files either. They're just package files. So, that makes it a lot easier as far as taking them in and out and whether you are like a strict no script mods kind of person you don't have to worry about that but i'm going to quickly go into game and show you guys what the maps look like they are so beautiful and they are a must have for me as far as mods go okay so let's start with willow creek this is the willow creek custom map as you guys can probably tell this is just the example of what i mean when i say detail and creativity is definitely implemented into these maps everything looks greener a lot more trees have been added you have small details from these houses over here with smoke blowing out of them like the smoke blowing out of the chimneys to the little palm trees over here you just have so much added and i just think it makes everything look so much better so next world that has a custom map is oasis springs and this is a custom oasis springs map you have, like I said, the palm trees, but out here you have little cactuses, and you have this tower right here, you have this little bridge over here. Just like there's so many details added on the maps that aren't actually added in-game, they're just added on this screen right here, which I forgot to mention, but it everything just looks so much prettier, and I'm in love with it. Next world that has the map is Newcrest, which Newcrest is as you may already know, an empty, empty world. It's not really much in Newcrest. There's nothing in Newcrest. It's just an empty, it's just a world full of empty lots. But with this map, adds, you know, just a little bit of detail to spruce it up. Next, we have Magnolia Promenade, which a lot of people don't use this world because it's usually just for, like, get to work, which a lot of people don't really care for as an expansion pack, or at least I don't, and I've heard multiple other people say that they don't. But... This is a Magnolia Promenade map, and it has, you know, like a little or orchard park, or orchard park over here. Like a tree farm is what I'm trying to say. Um, and then you have, like, the detail over here, like little pier with the docks and stuff. So I think this is really pretty, especially over here. This is, like, my favorite area. Then we have Windenburg, which Windenburg was my favorite world until Brindleton Bay came out, but... This map is beautiful, y'all. I mean, look, you got the docks illustrated over here. You have a little, like, 
I think this is like a sea, like a plane that like lands in the sea, like a rescue plane. You have windmills, you have the mountains. I am in love with these snowy mountains. I love greenery and then like mountains with snow on the tops of them added together. Like it just makes me so happy. So you have that. And then Sam Mushroom doesn't have one. Forgotten Hollow doesn't have one. Brindleton Bay doesn't have one. The last one or the last world that has a custom map is Granite Falls. A little overdone with the trees, in my opinion. But then again, it is a like a woodsy like destination world where you go camping. So I can completely understand it. Um, and they did a good job at this. Not just like a bunch of like little scattered trees. These trees are very detailed. So I have to say that I do like the detail that they put into them. Especially this thing in the middle. Like that just adds such a like little camping vibe to it. And it really like just adds to the ambiance of everything. Then you have the waterfalls and it just looks so pretty but i do have to say that my favorite map that was you know given detail to not magnolia sorry i don't know why i clicked on magnolia my favorite fan art map for a world is definitely windenburg i feel like this is just so pretty it has like the little scandinavian vibe to it and i don't know i just think this one is definitely my favorite but let's get right into the outro of this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on all my social medias that are conveniently linked in the description below. I have the links, like I said, to all the maps in the top of the description that you guys can download them yourselves. If you have any questions, as always, be sure to comment below. I respond to all my comments as long as you're not hateful or spam comments. Uh, but the giveaway that was mentioned in the beginning of this video does end October 15th. So if you want to enter, enter before that date once that date is over that intro will not be in my videos anymore link to the giveaways of course in the description love you guys so much stay lovely bye everyone Do you love me?